Hi everyone, today's video is going to be my handbag collection video. I love watching these so I thought it was about time I filmed my own. And I've got a mix of high street and kind of mid-range and designer bags. I've always been completely obsessed with handbags from a young age. I don't know what it is, it's kind of like my obsession with scarves. I guess a handbag fits everyone whether you're having a good day or a bad day. Handbags are just the best, I love them. I've got 12 bags in total. I don't know if that's a lot or not a lot. It sounds like loads to me, but I have been quite good over the years at giving away bags to friends and family if I'm not wearing them. I feel like there's no point keeping something if you're not wearing it because someone else can get good use out of it. So there have been bags that you may remember from past videos that aren't in this collection. That means that my sister's probably walking around wearing it right now. I have a lot of black bags, just a disclaimer. And, and again, that's because I feel like if I'm gonna spend money on something, I want it to be something I can wear loads. It's so much scarier buying a bag that's like coloured but I do feel like as I'm growing up and plucking up the courage to be a little bit more adventurous but I do love black. So let me just get started I'm going to go from the smallest bag to the biggest bag and talk through each one I hope I remember all the details I don't really I haven't done any research on these bags I'm just going to kind of talk through them as I go. I have one clutch bag and that's because I feel like I don't wear clutch bags that often so I don't need loads and this is just the perfect clutch bag and it's from Whistles it's black with a gold zip it's quite big I'd say it's like medium sized and it's in in this black shiny grainy textured material as I said I haven't done any research on the materials and stuff but I really love this you can just kind of prop it under your arm you can just hold it it fits quite a lot in actually I always judge a bag by whether it can fit my vlogging camera in very important so you can fit phone camera keys purse quite a lot in there and even if it kind of gets quite big I still think it's nice to just shove under your armpit or you can just hold it like that this is the perfect clutch bag. Okay, the next bag is very special. I bought this last year. I've always wanted a Chanel bag. It's something that I feel like I'm always working up towards for when I'm older. But when it actually comes to it and I've tried them on, I haven't really found the perfect one because they're not actually long enough to wear crossbody and I feel like just wearing it on the shoulder isn't safe. So I saw this bag from Saint Laurent. I like to keep my bags in the dust bags as well just to protect them because I store all my bags on a shelf above my wardrobe. I'll insert a clip now of how I store my bags. So they are all out in the open. So for the ones that do have dust bags, I always keep them in. I think it's really important to look after things that you're spending money on. So this is the bag. It's a little black bag with the gold YSL logo on. It's in a really tough grainy leather because I know that if I got something like a soft leather, it would just scratch and it would completely devastate me. So I definitely like to get bags in this grainy leather instead. And it's got a long gold chain. And I love this because you can wear it so many ways. You can wear it on one shoulder, you can wear it cross body, you can tuck the chain in and wear it as a clutch bag, which I've done quite a few times for weddings. It's such a good bag. It is little though. I can fit in this bag a card holder that I put in my travel card and my kind of debit card and ID, my phone, but sometimes I do have to take the phone case off to squeeze everything in, but it does fit with the phone case on. My keys, lipstick, mirror. It doesn't fit my vlogging camera in. It probably would fit the S120, but the Canon G7X doesn't fit. So this is what it looks like inside. So it is Slightly smaller, but not kind of crazy small. It's really nice, so good for events and weddings, so smart and timeless. This is the sort of bag I will definitely hand down to my daughter if I have one, and it's beautiful, I love it. Oh, another thing about this bag I really like is you can wear it with a really casual outfit, and I still think it looks really cool. You can kind of dress it up with a smart outfit, but if you're just wearing a bomber and a t-shirt and jeans, it also looks really good. Okay, the next bag is from Brandy Melville, which is an American store, I think, but it has come over to London. There's now quite a few around London. And I bought this maybe last summer or the summer before. It's a very kind of floppy bag. It's not the best quality, but it's a crossbody or shoulder bag with kind of gold hardware and black tassels. Are those called tassels? This is what I like to call the perfect festival bag. I like that I'm not really worried about damaging this because it wasn't expensive at all. It was like 20 quid or something. It looks really cool and casual. The only annoying thing is the zip broke, so it's quite hard to open, but I definitely kept it because it's such a good kind of spring summer bag. You could fit quite a lot in. I can fit like cameras, purses, all of that, and probably more, maybe like a small scarf as well. Really like slouchy. I just like the way this looks. Um, 
and I wore it to every festival and gig and things that I went to last summer. This next bag is by a brand called Olive Cooper and this bag was gifted to me. So when I say something's gifted to me, that means it was sent to me for free. There's no obligation for me to talk about these things. And I always tend to say no if I think it's not something I'm gonna like, but she asked me if I would like to be sent this bag. And this was maybe last year and it looked really, really nice. It's real leather and it's so, so soft, but again, has that slightly grainy finish. So it's not gonna get kind of damaged. It's got gold hardware, which is my favorite, I love gold. And again, can be crossbody or shoulder. And it's quite a nice little kind of square size. It has this buckle and then it has a magnetic fasten there as well. And then quite a lot of space in there with a zip as well. I don't wear this one as much as my other bags, but it's really good if I just want a simple black crossbody bag. It's smart, it has OC written here, and it's a really nice bag. I like supporting kind of smaller companies and Olive Cooper is a really nice brand. The next bag, another black crossbody bag, but they are my most worn by far. This is from Urban Outfitters. It's part faux leather, part faux suede. So this top bit is suede um, and the rest is leather. It has a pretty tassel on the zip and then it has a zip that goes all the way around and it opens like this as well. It has two compartments, three compartments, sorry, one in the middle, one at the front, one at the middle, and one at the back. So you can fit quite a lot in there. I like the shape, it's a little bit different. You can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder. Again, one of those bags I can wear when I know I'd have to worry about my bag getting damaged or stolen. I would be upset if I got it stolen, but it wasn't really expensive. It was probably about 30 pounds. I really like the tassels. It's very kind of summery and really easy to wear. My last black crossbody bag is this one from Strathbury of Scotland. I mentioned this in my most worn style items video. If you haven't seen that, I will link that video here. I basically talked through all my most worn items for my wardrobe. And this bag is definitely one of those. This bag was gifted to me by Strathby of Scotland. It's a really nice brand. And I think the style of the bags is very different to anything else I've seen. I'm pretty sure it's based on the old kind of musical, not musical, musician's bag, because my friend Jake mentioned that he's an opera singer. Anyway, it looks like this. This one can be worn crossbody or on the shoulder and it's got silver hardware, which isn't my favorite, but it's good if I want that option. This metal bar here flips over and this handle stays at the back like this and it's got the logo at the back there. And then this flaps up and that's where you keep everything inside. It's quite structured. I like that it's quite structured. It's a bit different. My other bags are all a bit like flimsy and floppy. This one's definitely more structured. And I think it's so sweet and just such a classic style that really goes with any outfit. I like that it stands up on its own when you can like put it down on a table or something. Such a nice bag. And I have a slightly larger bag from the brand as well, which I'll show you in a minute. This is my most recent purchase. And I bought this when I was in Paris for Paris Fashion Week. When I buy an expensive bag, which isn't that often, I really do my research. The one thing I definitely don't wanna do is regret buying something. I actually went round to my friend Amelia's house, Amelia Liana, because she had a couple of bags that I was interested in and she said come around try them on it's absolutely fine which is so good because sometimes going into the stores can be quite intimidating so it was nice to be able to try them on and hear from her what she thinks of the bags. I really wanted to get the YSL sack du jour I think it's called but when I actually saw it in real life it's so small and you can't really fit much in and it kind of hurts your hand when you're trying to get things in and out of the bag and I don't want it to be anything negative about a purchase so that immediately kind of put me off it also doesn't do up which in London you have to be quite careful if your bag's open because I get the tube a lot so I then looked at her Celine bag and it's called the nano luggage tote I'm pretty sure I didn't think the color that she had would be available because she bought it a couple of years ago but I was just looking at the style and I really, really liked it. And then when I was in Paris, because it is slightly more affordable to buy it in Paris for some reason, I went in to have a look and they actually had exactly the same color as Amelia's, which is the one that I really, really love. So sorry for pretty much copying you, Amelia, but this bag is beautiful. So as I said, it's called the Nano Luggage Tote. I keep it in the dust bag as well. And it looks like this. Mine is slightly different to Amelia's because they've changed the fabric on the side here or the type of leather. So it looks like this. These handles are really structured and they kind of stay like that. And it's tricolor, so it's got this beautiful blue on the side. You guys know I love like a cobalt blue. It's kind of beigey color here and then black. And it's got gold hardware. There was another kind of light gray bag that I liked, but it had silver hardware, which I just don't wear as much. This bag has a strap that's long enough to wear crossbody and on the shoulder. It falls perfectly when I wear it crossbody, like slightly higher than my other bags that I really like because it feels so safe. And as you can see, the bag kind of looks like a little robot face, which is quite cute. It also has a zip to keep things safe. Now, what I love most about this bag, and I've heard people 
say this before because I'm obsessed with watching like unboxing videos before I buy a bag. It's pretty much a magical bag. And I mean that because it has so much storage space inside. It looks like quite a small bag, but I can fit my notebook in here. I can fit my like big camera in here. It's like a never ending pit of storage. I've got stuff in there now, but seriously, I can't explain to you how much you can fit in here. You really can just pack it full. I don't know how they did that in the design, but something they've done in the design is genius because you can fit so much in this bag. I'm really, really happy with it. And that's the best thing when you make a purchase and then you're really happy with it. Such a good bag and I wear it all the time. And I was brave enough not to get black. So it's actually like a bit of a statement bag, I love it. Oh, you know it's getting nearer to spring when you get really hot filming. If you saw what I was wearing in my bottom half right now, you would laugh so much. Okay, so moving on, I have another bag from Strathbury of Scotland. This one was gifted to me by the brand. It's the medium size and it's navy blue. I like having navy blue bags, it's slightly different to black, but still kind of goes with the theme. Again, silver hardware, and this one opens slightly different. It still has the bar that slips over the handle, but it doesn't have that flap. It just has a magnet and then it opens like that. There's a zip and a pocket inside and you can fit quite a lot in here. I love this bag. This is probably the one I wear the most day to day. You can wear it crossbody or on your shoulder. It's so comfortable, really soft leather, stands up by itself. Can't quite fit my laptop in here, which is a little bit annoying, but you can fit kind of notebooks and cameras and anything else you need. I have two backpacks. I love backpacks because they're so handy. You can literally use your arms for anything while carrying everything you need on your back. The first one is from Urban Outfitters. I didn't realize this when I bought it, but it's a ripoff of Rebecca Minkoff. I don't recommend buying fake copies, but it's Urban Outfitters, so it wasn't like from a random market stall. I don't know, I didn't realize, but it's very similar to Rebecca Minkoff. It's black with gold hardware. It has two pockets either side, and then it has this clasp here that you can either wear done up like that, or you can clip it down at the bottom as well and wear it like that, and it has a zip and you can keep quite a lot of stuff in there. This one's a bit more of a stylish backpack. And then I also have my one from Whistles, which is a bit more of a traveling one because it's much bigger. I think this is called the Verity. Really nice soft leather. It has a big handle at the top, a big flap that kind of folds down at the front and a large pocket as well. I can fit loads in here. I can fit more in here than the Urban Outfitters one. But as I said, this is a bit more like of a statement backpack. So the other one I can wear kind of like a handbag. This one is more for traveling. I think it's so useful to have a good backpack in your collection. Okay, two more bags. I'm gonna end with the biggest ones. This is my bag from Chloe. I think this was the first designer bag I ever bought. And I think it's called the Riley. I can't quite remember. I really love this bag. It's just like a classic black shoulder bag. It's got gold hardware, this beautiful textured leather. It has a pocket on the front here and it's just a really nice shoulder bag. It doesn't do up, so I do have to be careful when wearing it out, but what I normally do is have a big scarf that I just lay on top of all my stuff. Actually, I have the scarf here that I always use, this purple scarf. So I put all my things in the handbag and then I just stuff the scarf on top. But I think it's just a really classic bag that won't ever go out of style and I really love it. And then finally, this bag, which is from Aspinall of London. They gifted this to me. It's bright blue with silver hardware, such a beautiful color. It was limited edition, so I don't think they have it anymore. Such a nice bag, it's huge though. I mean, look, it's absolutely massive. So I would only really use this when traveling. The handles are quite short, which means that when it is full and heavy, it's quite hard to carry. I tend to like just put it on my wheelie suitcase and hold it that way. You can't really put it over your shoulder and there's no long strap to go with it. So it's not that practical in terms of holding it, but I mean, look at the color. Beautiful, so, so pretty. I don't wear it enough, but when I travel, I try to use this because it's so gorgeous. So those are all my handbags and I hope you guys found this interesting. As I said, I love watching handbag collection videos, so I hope you do too. Let me know which bag is your favorite and if you have any more questions about any of the bags, please leave a comment below and I'll try to reply. And if you have any handbags on your wish list, let me know what they are because I love obsessively watching unboxing videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.